I... I know this is gonna sound insane, okay? Maybe I am insane. But let me continue. I'm not a believer of anything. No gods, no messenger of gods, devils, demons, nothing. On the other hand, I do believe that someone loves me enough to send me a protector. My family and I were cleaning up, and while cleaning, I happened to find a spider in my bed. It was pure white, and it looked so... <sighs> I can't really describe it, but I didn't see any reason to harm it, so I let it stay. It seemed to take an interest in me, because from then on it was in my window. Something about it made me feel just at peace. It continued on for months, and eventually my family saw it. But, as my mother described it, it looked holy, like disturbing it would bring something awful. I ignored her rants, but I agreed with her that there was something about it. Just this beautiful white spider. Then, a miracle happened. I was looking at the spider while laying down. It flailed its arms around. It was a funny sight to me, so I laughed, but something hit me in an instant that said stop laughing. This spider is serious. And I have to admit, I was a little bit creeped out. Spiders telling me something important? What a joke. But the thought kept troubling me, as if it was scolding me for thinking light of the situation. But again, being ignorant, I put it out of my mind. As I fell asleep, something visited me in my dreams. I wish I knew what it was, but it said to me, You were wise not to kill me. All of your kindness shall pay off. For I am the omen of protection. I was sent to guard your dreams and your life. Something told me to believe this omen, but I wasn't convinced. You don't believe me, do you? I was astonished, but then again, who would believe when your dreams are just vivid hallucinations? The omen continued. Tomorrow, you're going to take a nap. But just before you close your eyes, an image will flash before your eyes and it will leave your dreams hollow. When this happens, I'll bite you, so that you can warn your family not to sleep until midnight. Please, heed my warning. I'm here to protect you, for somebody in the world sent me to protect you, and I will indeed fulfill my purpose. I jolted awake, suddenly afraid of what today was prepared to bring. Coming home from work, I got ready to lay my head down, but before I did... An image of my family hung on the wall, skinned alive, bodies roasting, all screaming my name. I wanted to get up, but my body was paralyzed, so I was forced to sleep. From then on, things got worse. My dreams, they showed me killing everybody I knew with a smile on my face. In this dream, I cut off my sister's fingers one by one, and then her toes. Then I let her soak in this acid, laughing. As for my other sisters... I drugged them out of the house and threw them over the bridge onto the highway, their bodies breaking on impact. As for my mother and father, I plunged a knife into my mother's face and slid it down her body while my father was burned over a fire. My cousin was having her face held in boiling water while she was being, she was being molested. And my boyfriend, I saved the best for him. I gave him the gift of insomnia. It was only every time that he blinked his eyes that he could see it. He could feel it. He could hear it. These nefarious things that come to life and do what they do best. Kill. But that wasn't me. It couldn't be. But then, it cut to me, being imprisoned. Then a person came into my cell. Somebody whose features looked just like mine. She whispered into my ear, You should be thanking me. No one can come between us now. We'll be together forever, right? I woke up in just unbearable pain. My neck was bruised really badly. The spider started flailing its arms again, but this time I could hear her. Now do you believe me? Your sisters are tired, and your parents, if you don't save them, all that horrific stuff could be a reality. I tried to the best of my ability to keep them awake, and I prevailed. But the spider told me one more thing. Go to sleep and you'll dream again the same dream but when she comes to visit you address her name three times and i'll take over i couldn't possibly think of going through that again but i had to trust the spider something told me to as i went through all that horror again i ended up imprisoned 
and she came to me, again. I stopped her in her tracks by saying her name. Rebecca. How did I know to say her name? I don't know. She was just as astonished as I was. Then her dialogue changed. So, you do know it, do you? I thought you'd forgotten all these years, leaving me behind when you wanted to face the world. I was there every bad and good thing that ever happened to you, Renee. And now you say my name? Too bad it's too late. Rebecca. I said it again. She looked distorted now. You should stop saying my name, Renee. In one instant, I can make your whole family feel what I felt for so long. Friends don't forget friends, Renee, but you forgot. In the real world, your family is safe. Until I escape, that is. Then their lives are going to be a living hell. You forgot me, and for that you're going to be punished. Just for your actions. It's too late, Renee. Too late. She was messing with my head now. Apparently I knew her. But I felt her pain, so I let her have it. Rebecca. Rebecca, I'm sorry for forgetting you. You were my best friend, but this isn't my fault. The doctors made me forget you. Best friends forever, I promise. I won't let you go. Now I remember. Me and Rebecca were best friends from birth. Then she died of a sickness. I was so distraught I made her exit my mind. But then my parents decided to get rid of her once and for all. How could they? I loved her, and they took her away from me. She weakened and cried. My chains loosened. I walked over to hug her, and when she was in my arms, she just... she disappeared. I heard the words, I'll live in your heart always. When I woke up, it was a beautiful morning, and the spider was just nowhere to be found. But a note was left there. Renee, I took care of her. She's imprisoned in my heart and she will no longer haunt your dreams or make nightmares into reality. I'm sad to say that I had to sacrifice myself for your family, but you'll always be blessed, and I will always be in your mind at peace. I was horrified. She took my twin away, my one friend. And for that, she's gonna pay, but not before my parents. I will carry out what she put in my head. She'll be proud of me. Hey, Mom, do you know what my twin thinks about you? I'd like to tell you and show you how she felt when you put her out of my head. I would like to thank all of the amazing patrons currently listed on screen right now. And by the way, guys, I am sorry I haven't gotten to the Patreon story. I have been so incredibly busy IRL. I will get to it, though. I pinky promise you. Dan R. Neophyte Games, Chaos X, JY, Pyromancer, Hayden, MH, Ethan A., Daniel H., Maximilian Charles P., Go Go Cute Puppy, LLC, Young Sykes, Dark Side of the Bear, Revenick, Paul T., and Mr. Swiston. Guys, thank you all so, so much.